hello guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an aim coach and i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is basically me making raspberry ice cream okay raspberry flavored ice cream now let me put this down so that you guys don't assume that i'm not wearing a top okay it's evening over here that's why up there is dark my living room is dark i'm in my kitchen okay so um without further ado let me get into the video okay i have got an ice cream maker and the fast freezing bowl is in the freezer at the moment okay i just cleaned it out um i had ice cream in it i've eaten the ice cream just cleaned it out and put it in the freezer for the duration of this video and then once i've sorted out what i'm going to show you guys then i'll go and get the um fast freezing bowl and use it okay so i got strawberries from co-op okay now this is not a sponsored video by the way okay so just to let you know although co-op feel free to sponsor me when you're ready because i feel like i use most of the most of the ingredients that i use um are from you know from co-op um another thing that so so basically it's 125 grams of um kilograms sorry of um of raspberries but I just got a few out of that okay so all you need to do is you can either blend your mixture um, in a blender or a food processor or you can do it the way I'm doing it okay which is just to um, mash your raspberry okay um what i need to mash it with is um icing sugar okay so that's the brand that i use the tech Lil. okay now if um you need 12 grams of icing sugar but i don't have um what's it called i don't have that okay so i'm just going to use this one this spoon um is half tablespoon okay half tablespoon of um but i'm gonna put so i'm gonna put four four of these in which makes it two tablespoons okay so two three Okay, the icing sugar is just to sweeten your ice cream. All right, so now let me put that to the side. Let me rinse that quickly. So I've rinsed that and put it to dry. Get some clean tissue to wipe my hands. So I don't need this sugar anymore. Okay. So you just blend your fruit with the icing sugar.
And I do this method because I actually like to see the fruit in the ice, pieces of the fruit um, in the ice cream, like skins or seeds in the ice cream. Okay, but like I said, feel free to use a blender or a food processor. Okay, now you can get the measure um the measuring spoons which, like this the set that I just put on the side this is part of it. Um, you can get it from your local supermarket. I got it from Asda, but you can get it from either Asda or Tesco, or even check your local um what's it called bakery baking store. Okay, now you can see my mixture is ready for the rest to be added to it now i'm gonna double my ingredients okay normally i would use um 50 ml milliliters of whole milk so i got whole milk okay but you can use skimmed milk if you don't drink whole milk okay so i'm gonna be using 100 milliliters instead of 50. Okay, there's a number there. Yep. So you can see. So I'm going to add everything to this bowl. Okay, so I'm going to mix. You can see the ingredients, how it's looking. Okay, so it's looking pinkish, red. This mixture is looking pinkish, red. Now, another thing that you need to add is double cream. Now, I use this brand, but you can use any brand of double cream. Now, normally I would go for um 25 mils okay but i'm gonna double it because i want more ice cream so i'm gonna put 50 mils okay so that is 50 mil In fact, I'm going to put a bit more of the double cream just because when I've noticed that when the mixture is not um, that much in the ice freezing bowl, it's hard to close it and to actually make it work. So I'm going to add this to the mixing bowl and then pour the rest of the cream which will be about um basically 125 mils but if you're only making a small amount of ice cream 
use the measurement that I first used, which is basically to double your um, your ingredients. Okay. So if you do not have an ice cream maker, you can get one from Argos. The one that I have is from Argos. But you can also check again your um, the online store. You can check Amazon for those of you who are not in the UK. Um, you can check your local stores, you know, your local utensils um, or your even your supermarkets. Sometimes they do have them. Okay, so with that done, I will be serving the ice cream in here in dessert bowl okay and i need to get a clean dessert spoon now if you have ice cream cones you can use it okay to serve your ice cream once it's ready but i'm not going to be using this today i'm going to be using the bar okay so now my mixture is ready i'm gonna put this aside i'm gonna put the rest of my ingredients back in the fridge Normally with the fast freezing bowl, if you shake it, you can hear the water movement, but it's frozen, um, so you can't hear it, which means it's good to go. Okay, so just pour your mixture into it. Okay, I'm going to lower the camera so you can see what I'm doing at this point. Okay, so let me lower the camera so you see what I'm doing. Lower it a bit more. That's it. Right. So I'm going to add the rest of the cream. in there i'll put this in the bin Now this is the cover of the ice cream maker. I forgot one item. 
most important item, which is the spatula that turns the ice cream. Okay, turn it on and you just leave it to do its thing. Put this away. Let's check it. It's still doing its thing. What I'll do is I'll end this video here and I'll come back basically with a snippet of the video of a second video when the ice cream is already ready basically it, what this machine will do is it'll keep mixing it that way until the ice cream has formed into this consistency here into this consistency and if you're ready to serve it then you serve it but if you're not ready to serve it you just um use a cling film and to cover the the ice cream maker and then um you put it in the what's it called the the freezing bowl only not the top the bottom bit 
you put it in the freezer until you're ready to serve your ice cream okay and then you clean the top part just using um damp cloth yeah damp cloth basically a clean damp cloth okay so that's it let me know in the comment section before i go let me know in the comment section what your favorite um what's it called what your favorite flavor of ice cream is now there is vanilla there is strawberry there is mint there is so many varieties um you know of different flavors of ice cream let me know in the comment section which one yours is my favorite it depends on what you know i like a combination of chocolate raspberry strawberry um vanilla okay but vanilla i like it for dessert company with like other like, pastry desserts and that's it guys i shall see you in the next video bye